Hello again. This is tutorial number three, and in this tutorial, I am going to use some 3D features in SolidWorks. We remember we made this sketch in the second tutorial. This is 2D sketch, and here we have the sketch here. So the 3D features can be shown here. We have the extrude, revolve, boss, and many others that I'm going to use. In the next tutorials so in this tutorial I am going to show you how to use the extrude feature so need to select the sketch that I am going to extrude so I am going to extrude this sketch so I'm going to use it and then extrude And here we have our sketch screwed and by pressing on the arrow here we can choose how much to extrude the sketch and here we have in the second dimension and we can see that here in the edit feature properties here we can choose this first exit from here and again extrude and here we have sketch plane sketch to surface and so on in this case there are no use for this one sketch plane because we don't have other sketches or parts so here we have bl blind up to vertex up to surface of course we don't have any vertex right now or surface but we are going to use them in the more advanced tutorials and uh, in, this in this case I'm going to choose mid plane as we see we extruded the the sketch in both sides in case of line we have it only in one side and here we have the dimension how much we need to extrude and here we have the direction is not activated in this sketch and here we can apply some draft we can see how much angle we need to draft it or reverse the direction of the draft and here we have other feature thin feature in case we want to make it in this shape have a wall thickness you can just I'm going to deactivate it and here also we can choose contours for example to be extruded not the whole sketch just the contours I'm going to choose so what I finish from editing the sketch I just simply press OK here or here To edit the feature again, we just simply press on the feature, edit feature, and then I want to extrude this part as well and change and then press OK.
we can also show them in the isometric view press space we have this menu isometric or we want to see it in other views and here we can also change the way how the parts looks for example transparent or showing the hidden lines or just without fillings So now I can close this tutorial about the extrude feature tool. See you in the next.